What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Rain Slick 4. So, I was on my way out of this ice cream cave, and I noticed that there was a Yeti of some description that I did not actually beat. And this... He seems to have pretty epic music. Almost like this is some kind of a boss. So that's interesting. Was he... I almost have to wonder if he, like, wasn't even here before, maybe? Question mark? So he's resistant to physical attacks. I'm going to assume he's probably also resistant to ice, but... I guess we will find out. He's also resistant to... Uh... Meh. Dark attacks. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Um, got some capomancy going here. Well, he used the power up thingy, so I'm kind of have to use an attack this time for him. That that turn. Revive the scream cone. How are we doing? It's almost half dead. Let us ignore his defense, huh? Let's give Ice Shards a try. Or you could die again. That also works, except not really. Let's try using this Molotov. Yeah, I didn't expect that to do much damage. The Molotov works well, though. Getting close to dead? Let's try Tidal Wave, actually. If, if that does water, or... I guess water and ice are supposed to be the same element, though, so maybe that won't work so well. No more uses of the Molotov! Oh no! Maybe just defend? Yeah, that didn't work so well either. Icicles this time. And I think I have another potion, so I might as well get Mr. Beaks up again. It seems to be a bit of a recurring theme. So icicles worked, okay. So that was another kind of tight battle, but we emerge victorious. A brave lychee? Oh, okay. Uh I think my scream cone is the lowest level of monster I currently have, so yeah. Give him a chance to catch up on levels a little bit. And now we can leave the cave. So, with that done... I suppose it is time that we paid a visit to the train tracks. Or the train station, I suppose. Is this some sort of village? That seems like a fairly niche market. Do, do, do. It may seem like it not the best idea to just talk to every single townsperson, just because... Normally when I'm less playing a game, I kind of try not to do that, just because it would take so long. But I kind of feel like I have to in this game. The dialogue is just so great. 783 gold. We did. It's not really a train? Oh. Okay. I guess... I guess we can kind of infer that from what people said, but... Yeah, it's kind of important to know where trains are going. If you say so. Well, there's nothing up here, but I'm glad I can climb on top. Well, this looks suitably demonic. Safety tentacles, huh? 
Well, if that's what looks like... Oh, I can't actually cross this bridge. That's inconvenient. There's a chest. Yay, another Molotov! Uh, I'm not sure if I want to know what just happened. It's a good question. We're also kind of trying to not die a little bit. A lady train, huh? I don't think we have quite that long. I would think if it was going to go that long, it would just run out of tracks. But I guess it is a magic talking train, so... I guess you can't exactly apply normal things like that. Nor normal logic to this train. Can we maybe not do that? If it has, does have a face, perhaps we can punch it. That certainly is a lot of lava. That's convenient, I suppose? I suppose that makes sense. Deicides? I guess that means killing gods. Oh, yeah. Of murdered gods. Interesting. There's two of them? Why would you know that? Interesting. That's sure is convenient. Eh, I think we can manage some fighting. I'm sure it's convenient that Jib knows so much about this place. That's convenient? That would help, yeah, I guess.
for now. So I guess we have a new group here. So we have the Philosophy, who appears to be a magic user of some description. So Moira has an interrupt and Jim has a heal. Could certainly use that in my other group. So let's see. Moira gives an increase to speed and defense slash M defense. Plus four magic, plus four M defense. Interesting. So I guess I'll stick him with Jim for now. Rod of Fraud. So... Dense Crazy! Staves, Tomes, and Orbs. Alrighty then. Onward for Great Justice! Monsterian? Okay. Strange, but also not really important. Okay then. Yes, we know about... Well, I explained interruption before. So, what are these things? Arsene. It's logical enough. So, let's see here. The Philosophy cannot do anything this turn. So, attack. And what can he do? Fire attack. Something tells me that will not be especially effective this battle. Let's try and interrupt this guy. So, as you can see, I interrupted them and it knocked their turn way back. Is interrogate instant? I wonder. Oh, well, whatever the case may be. Let's use some wind magic. I guess interrogate is not, in fact, instant. So, when Interrogate lands on an enemy when their portrait at the top there, their icon, is not in between the command and act, uh, the amount that their icon gets knocked back by is greatly decreased. It gets knocked back a little bit, but nowhere near as much as if it was in that kind of in-between range. This crew does not seem especially good at doing physical damage. But I guess it's kind of a little bit more designed for kind of introducing mechanics and such. So let's see, we got Staff Master and Dagger Master, huh? Let's see. Boost magic for one turn. Attack command ignores defense. Equip the dagger. That could be handy. A lancet. That's quite a door. It certainly doesn't look like it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, so that certainly looks like Tycho. Well, there are bridges. Apparently we are attacking Tycho, question mark? So, three elemental weaknesses. Da, 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 da. Suppose I shall defend. And let's go with interrogate. His icon will likely be in the act zone by the time Interrogate goes off. Thusly. Now that our magic has been boosted for this turn, let us use some of it. Uh, 
don't think I can t interrogate, like I could interrogate this turn again, but I don't think it's going to go off before his turn arrives. Some actions are faster than others when they go through the act zone, but I don't know that interrogate is fast enough to overtake him, so let's just go with sunburn. Oh, it's super effective, so that's good to know. So I guess I'm just gonna repeat this pattern until he's dead. He doesn't do an especially large amount of damage, so... Uh, let's... Uh, how much HP does he have? I guess I might as well interrupt him again. I do not have enough magic. I need more mana. Not enough mana. And this should take him down. Down he goes. Hmm. That's a very specific number. Ah. <gasps> <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why I find that so funny, but I do. So it would seem. No explanation of that statue. I was kind of hoping there would be, but I guess not. Squeak King, huh? Okay, well... Hmm. I can use the other group's Molotovs. Interesting. Let's give that a shot. Not quite enough to kill him in one shot, but... It is some pretty good damage. We can er, finish off those who've been weakened. Stash power? Uh, okay. So, you're dead this turn. Goodbye, lit oh. Or, I guess I spoke too soon. Goodbye for real this time, little rat. Uh, let's positive thinking. Okay then. Heal the wounded. Ah, so it's a heal over time. And Jim learned to bury. Earth magic! Actually, I want to check something. Magic type and speed type. Okay. Not getting there quite yet, but I feel as though we will do so eventually. The door is locked. Well, before we go up there, let's see what's down here. Chamber Matron! Her final four. So, I guess this gives me an attack spell that I can use with a single MP, so that's good. Back you go! To the beginning of the action bar. Zero elemental weaknesses. So let's go with attack then. Not an especially large amount of damage. So let's see what sunburn does. Damage wise. I guess I... She only has 9 HP left, so using the Molotov is a little counterintuitive. Maybe that's not the right word. Uh, not... It's not... It's a little bit of overkill. That's... Let's go with that. It's a spilled... Well, only the one spilled drink, actually. I was gonna say there are a lot of them, but apparently not.
Let's see. How should I go about this? I feel like I should take out the Butcher post haste, but... Let's just use our Maltas on him. Oh. Super effective! Seemed to be a fairly effective strategy. One elemental weakness. No, I didn't mean to cast that. Oh well. Not a big deal. Huh. So how does that heal work then? Does it... Heal someone at random, or does it heal whoever has the lowest health? Seems like it probably heals whoever has the lowest health, which is certainly handy. Bend. And dance crazy! You shall die soon, Mr. Baker. Foul mouth and wind missile. Looks poison, does it? No chest over here. Rusty old key. So it would seem that that is how we get through this door. So we will open up and see what's on the other side on the next episode of Let's Play Rain Slick 4. Catch you later!